Welcome back to my worst nightmare. Location. The sewer underneath an old town. So, I'm just gonna bring up the map. So, where is the sewer entrance? It's right here. So, if we go left... Doesn't seem like that'll bring us anywhere. We want to get to the hospital. Boom. So I'm just going to go left and explore these because I think they're going to be dead ends. What in the fuck? Okay. Color me intrigued. What do you mean it's locked? I can see that you could put up the bar. All right, whatever. I'm going to I'm going to check this out first. Oh. Just kidding. No, I'm not. All right, so that's a dead end. This is actually not that spooky. I say that now, but then some shit will happen and it'll be terrified. But as of right now, I thought that was a corpse. Ay ay ay. Ew. Thought I might see something. Okay, I know flashlights are more effective than this. You don't have to. You don't have to lie to me. Where the fuck am I going? I'm gonna check the map. So I was going this way. So I'm here. I want to go back for a second. And just go. This is some wild music, man. <laughs> no, okay. You're gonna... Okay. So where does that lead to? That leads to the farmer's market. I think these lines, like the hard lines, mean... No bueno. Can't do it. And these mean, yeah, doors. Okay. So I want to go... I'm going to check all this, and then I'm going to come back and check to see if I can get, maybe get in the hospital basement through here. I'm thinking that might be the way to, the way to operate. This is, this is all, this is what I'm about to, this is the thrill, the thrill of the kill. <laughs> Wish I had some nose plugs, though. That, that squish noise is pretty pretty unappealing too. <laughs> okay, so I'm here. Oh, jackpot. Why are there just bags of garbage here? Who's coming down in the sewer and just putting their trash here? Oh, that's bolted from the other side. There's another exit. That's the church. Okay, so I bet we're gonna have to get like a key or something, you know, to get into that church basement from inside the church and then we can leave through the sewer. Okay. Still not too spooky. Spook spook level levels are at like a three or a four right now. Not too bad. Very manageable. So we are here. Near postal service. Okay, that's a classic. All you had to do is bring a lockpick set. That's all you had to do. It would have been so easy. I don't think, okay, so we're, I'll go left first, and let me guess, yeah, <laughs> yep, <laughs> okay, the real boon here, if there's nothing here, that's actually madness, because why would this exist, I'm thinking we're gonna be able to get into the community hospital, 
over here. So I'm gonna check this. Yeah, that's uh, to be expected, I suppose. Come on, baby. Yes. Yes. This is a different door from the other ones. Yes! Let's freaking go. That's what life's all about right there. Going, hitting about 15 closed doors just to open one of them. Heck yeah. Frick yeah, you fricker. <laughs> this is a officially a PG series. I don't even wanna I I refuse to even start words with the same letter as swear words. I've already broken my rule many times, but you get the idea. Come on. Come on. I don't what's responsible for loading times? I know partially it's um like, if you get an SSD, it'll affect loading times, but... Oh, f hell yes. This is what life is all about. Going in the morgue. Oh, there's a drain on the floor. That's really gross. What that implies is grosser than what it is. Oh, okay. BTT? B H. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh no. No. Steve. Steven. Briefcase key. Steven. Damn it, Steven. I called Dorothy last week. She told me something interesting about Sophia. It was a puzzle that she received from Matthew when she was first starting at the mansion. Sort of a birthday gift for her. In that puzzle, Sophia was to visit both hers and Matthew's favorite locations in Payne's Creek. In each location lies a clue that Matthew had written on the wall of the building exterior. The clues, when put together, will point her to the location of her gift. I thought that was a neat idea. Sophia's favorite places, Anne's Courtyard, Inn and Suites. I remember seeing a word on a building. Anne's Courtyard, Inn and Suites. Bridge over the stream by the gate entrance. Three, post office. Why would someone like the post office and work? <laughs> Steve Moss, it, it's a real shame that you're dead, man, because that's a, that's, a nice, that's a nice dry sense of humor that I can get behind. And where can I find Matthew's favorite places? Okay. That's that's a good question. I received an anonymous telegram this morning. Anonymous telegram? It's 97, dude. What are you talking telegram? In it in it wrote that Scott wasn't Vivian's killer. Unfortunately, that's all I got. I had my doubts whether Scott really killed Vivian. He sure had the motive, but upon reading all his diaries and looking through his investigation notes, I can't help but think that Scott did not kill Vivian. On the contrary, he was trying to find out who killed Vivian, as well as what really happened to Andrew Reed and Dr. Johnson. I still don't know if this is anonymous person is a man or a woman, but it didn't help solidify my thoughts on Scott. It did help solidify my thoughts on Scott. I received another telegram yesterday, telling me to look into Bernard, the mansion's butler. I, cannot, I can't help but feel that this person is trying to tell me something, but not exactly what. The telegram said I will find something in the house the house today i received a key in the mail with the initials bh does it stand for bernard's house i searched everywhere and read all of bernard's diaries something just doesn't add up maybe it's just a hunch or simply that i'm thinking too much but would he really have killed vivian however there's something else in his diaries that made me wonder if he was indeed a murderer i photographed all the pages okay okay let's freaking go Okay, so maybe that is a key to that locked room in Bernard's house. Very possible. Very possible. We're making mad progress. No! 
<laughs> right. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll just turn this right around. We're gonna turn the power back on in the hospital. We gonna we gonna uh, swipe that card. Get into the office. Oh, so many things to do. And now we gotta, gotta go to Bernard's house. This this feels like the beginning of the game again. So many things to do. So many keys. The keys is what I'm loving. Just give me some keys and I can make anything happen. They call me the locksmith for a reason. Alright, alright. I feel like we're coming coming up to the end here, kind of. We're getting a lot of info. We got a... Uh, Got a lot of things coming together. Many, many things. Okay. Oh, why is the storage a little cracked? Oh, let's freaking go. <laughs> I can pry up the nails with that boy. Yes. Yes. Electrical room. Hopefully I don't zap myself to death. Oh, fuck off, that noise. Okay, that's not anything, apparently. This is not anything. Uh, let's go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. There's a lot to do. medical records uh is it he? no okay i need to find first of all oh yeah yeah what are you doing to me don't say it ain't so okay apparently it's not so because i thought yeah it looked like to me uh, in the trailer there was a key like right here Oh my freaking god. <laughs> oh, the drawers are screwing me, man. Okay. Uh, get slammed. Does the light not work? Listen, pal, I turn the power on. I pay my bills. Some maybe less than enthusiastic voice acting, but I think that was Vivian. Uh, let's go. 203. Okay. To Charles Roberts. I don't know if it's a joke that you sent me a threat letter, but if you knew about the well, then you must have found out the truth. Just so you know, your wife was the one behind all of it. If you have any grudge, it's with her, not me. I was just a witness in Sophia's death, nothing more. Henry Johnson. Do you think... I know what you did, meet me... Oh, let's go. So Charles sent that. Charles sent that to Henry. So did Charles kill Henry? For, for because he thought he killed Sophia. Well, he kind of did in a way. Dear Henry Johnson, I would like to thank you for the contribution to the community hospital and the people of Payne's Creek for the past two decades. However, there are many reports of mishandling funds since the total time of calculated. Uh, we have no other choice except to open an investigation until you're able to explain the discrepancy between your accounting and ours I have no choice but to suspend all funding for the hospital I will be meeting you and your accountant to solve the issue so Vivian basically got basically slammed 
Henry. Got him good. So he was... Is it possible that Henry just, like, killed himself? Because his life was kind of falling apart. Okay, I can't open those. He's got the same books. I don't think there's anything going on here. No? Okay. Alright, alright. More things to do in the hospital. So, 2 0. Which room was it that I got? Oh my god, look at all these keys! 203. Let's look for that. Oh, no. First of all, we're going to do everything on the first floor that we can do, which we can go to the records room. The record room. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Medical records. Let's go. Okay, okay. Whoa. Okay. James Comley. Uh, bad reaction to allergies. Henry Johnson. Uh, I don't think this is relevant. Bonnie Ramsey. Heart disease. Albert Rhodes is the. Andrew Reed. Here we go. Okay. Alcohol dependence. Mental or emotional illness. Here, let's let's just take a picture of these. Because we don't know when we need these dates of birth, right? Um, Henry, Henry Jansen. Okay, family physician. Okay, so he's mentally ill and he's an alcoholic. We kind of already knew that. Jason Gomez. Kind of seems relevant as well. Okay. Kyle Thornton. No... Marlon Fox. Why is this like typed? It looks like Town Center Road. I don't know. Rebecca Hunter. I don't think this is relevant. Stap. Raymond Brown. Heart disease. Patient needs to be monitored daily. He relies heavily on his medication. Without the appropriate care, he could die. Raymond Brown again. Wanda Tyler. Here we go. Henry Johnson. Cancer. Okay. You'd think that would be one of the already listed ones. Okay. I don't know if there's anything relevant here, but I'm just snap a pick just in case. Uh, looking for anything juicy here. Wanda Tyler again. Raceway Insurance. Medication name. New therapy. Uh, I'm going to take a picture of this. Why not? Raymond Brown again. That guy does not seem to be having a good time. Kyle Thornton. Bonnie Ramsey. Andrew Reed again. This is this prescription for a, a Prezolam. I'll just snap that. Why not? Marlon Fox again. Ooh. The purpose of this form is to provide the patient with the necessary information they need to give their employer to help the employer make decisions accommodating the patient. Patient. So this is Kyle Thornton. So we don't even know that guy. Andrew Reed. This form does not intend. Okay, this form does not replace. Uh, choices indicated below. Please mark your selection. What? Why does it have like a 186 there? Please sign. Andrew Reed. Whoa, 9 1994. That was the date of... Oh, is this when he got... No, I don't know, man. I don't know if this is actually relevant or not. I mean, I'll 
I'll snap a sizzler of it, but I don't know what I'm doing here. Seems like I sh I'm in here for a reason, right? But I don't know if I saw anything that was that that gave me like a revelation. James Bonnie Ramsey, Andrew Reed, nine twenty-three. I don't know. All right. Well, we've got some information about Andrew Reed, but I'm not sure how important that is. Oh, I thought there was a, a guy standing in that room at the end. That, uh, that messed me right up. Okay. Well, sure, man. I guess that stuff is good to know. 203 is my jam. Two ten. Two oh nine. Two oh eight. Two oh six. Two oh seven. Two oh five. Two oh three. Let's go. Thing is already open. Is that us oh, for showering? All right, that makes sense. Lots of story books. Hmm. Oh no, this is a child's. Somebody loves watching film. It's clean bowls. This is a little sad. Okay, what do we got? Scott books got books found by Jagra with multiple stab wounds to the heart. Fuck. <laughs> Police unsure if events are tying tied to the killing of Vivian Roberts. Scott Brooks, the murder suspect in the Vivian Roberts case, was killed yesterday. His body was found on the roadside along Maple Drive. At around six fifty, a jogger happened to see a body lying motionless on the side of the road behind the bush while doing his morning run. He stopped to check if the person needed help, only to notice that the body was covered in blood. He immediately called 911. The police arrived shortly after around 7 a.m., and the victim was pronounced dead. The time of death was predicted to be about 4 to 6 hours ago, putting the time of death between 1 and 3 a.m. Questions have been raised pertaining to the murder of Vivian Roberts, especially since Scott was released from prison due... Okay, well... Very interesting stuff. Let's go. Looks like a room key. A room key? That's very nonspecific. Yesterday, upon hearing that Scott was being apprehended for the murder of Vivian, Trisha collapsed. The hospital called this, this morning to inform us that she had a nervous breakdown. Uh, they suggested she should stay in the hospital for at least a few days. Charles has asked me to take care of Trisha. Uh, it rained today. Trisha hates the rain. She stayed in bed, tucked away under the blanket the whole time. Sometimes she would stay, say Scott's name out of, out loud, then cry herself to sleep. It pains me to see her like that. Charles visits Trisha almost every day. Today he was quieter than usual. All of a sudden, he said that Vivian has been seeing another guy, apparently a banker, for more than a year, and asked if Vivian ever talked to me about it. I said I didn't know anything about it, but was sure that Vivian would never do such a thing. Yeah, right. Then I realized that Trisha was awake. I'm not sure if she heard our conversation. Sheriff Howard came today. He asked me if I remember seeing anything suspicious the night Vivian died. I've already told him everything I know. It's frustrating to be asked over and over again things I want to forget. Before he left, I asked if Scott could really be the killer. He said he's wondering the same thing. If Scott was not the killer, then who killed Vivian? Derek came to see Trisha. I asked how he's doing. He said that 
the medical expenses for Wanda were more than he expected. Even with Charles' help, he still ended up using most of his savings and is now trying to get a second job. Then he asked me if there was a future for him. Traveling with Charles made him see the ugly sides of the world. His mom is hospitalized for terminal cancer and seeing Trisha like this pains him. He then leaned towards Trisha and whispered, Would it be better if Scott is gone? Would you have chosen me? I wished I heard wrongly. Yeah, really. It's pretty messed up. Who's this? Dorothy. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Alright. I think I'm going to end this one here. Oh, let me look at this thing first. Alright, nothing. Uh, I think I'm going to end this one here. We can uh, look for what that key is next time and figure out all this crap that's happening. So, uh, see you next time.